Okay, so in question 12, um, we're looking at a sort of a static equilibrium center of gravity type question. Uh, we've got a, a 0.34 kilogram meter stick. Uh, it's balancing at the center, and if a necklace is placed uh, from one end of the stick, then the balance point moves 9.5 centimeters toward that end, and we're asked to find the mass of the necklace. So we'll start here with drawing a picture um, of the meter stick. Um, okay. Alright, and then I'll just put the center point here uh, where it would normally balance is at center. But we're told that when we hang a necklace, uh, from one end, and uh, the balance point moves uh, to a closer to the necklace end by 9.5 centimeters. So if we had like a pivot point here, like a sort of fulcrum, this is going to be the new balance point where I know that this particular distance here is 9.5 centimeters. And since this is a meter stick, um, the distance from the middle of the meter stick to the end is 50 centimeters. So I know the, the distance between the necklace and, and the, the new pivot point, the new center of gravity technically, is 40.5 centimeters. So uh, you could treat this as a center of gravity type problem, and that's what I'm doing in a sort of a similar way, but I try to I'll also tend to think of this problem as sort of a torque problem, which this is, the center of gravity is really a torque concept. Um, so we have here, acting here, is a weight force here acting at the center of the ruler, due to the ruler's mass. There is a weight force here. And then the necklace also applies some sort of downward force here on the ruler. Uh, and it'll be equivalent to the necklace's weight. The necklace is in equilibrium, so the ruler applies some balancing force to the necklace equivalent to its weight, so by the third law, the necklace applies a downward force on the ruler, equivalent to its own weight in magnitude. So this particular, the necklace force will cause a clockwise rotation or clockwise torque about this pivot point, where the weight force will cause a counterclockwise torque about that pivot point, and um, these torques must be equal to each other uh, in magnitude, in such that the, the ruler is balanced. So, um, so what I would write here is that the torque about this particular pivot point at the weight force is equal to the torque of the necklace, and the torque to the weight force is its magnitude of the weight of the mass of the ruler times g times the 9.5 uh, centimeters. That's the distance between the center of the ruler and the new uh, pivot point, or the balance point. And then this is equal to the mass, uh, the necklace's torque will be the mass of the necklace times g times 40.5 centimeters. So we'll go ahead and cancel out those g's. So I have the, and I'm looking for the mass of the necklace, so the mass of the necklace will be the mass of the ruler times 9.5 centimeters all divided by 40.5 centimeters and since the answer is in grams uh, I'll convert that uh, 0.34 kilograms to 340 grams times the 9.5 centimeters over the 40.5 centimeters and this should give you 80 grams Choice uh, E.